Hey guys, it's Dr. Sean, and we're going back to the uh, flow time biosensing headband and the app, which I have loaded up here and it did tend to close. I just finished a 10 minute uh, little meditation. And today we're going to talk more about brain waves. Now we talked about some of the other brain waves already, but we're talking about the second of the brain waves, which is theta, the delta, theta, then alpha, which we talked about. That's kind of right in the middle of our like very restful and then beta being awake and, and, and starting to concentrate and then gamma being very, very intensely uh, paying attention. So we're using these to see if we can promote them in different ways or if they even should be promoted in some cases we want to increase some and decrease others depending on our activity but the this this eeg unit is a personal eeg it's not too expensive i got it just recently and i've been using it for a few days now and i'm starting to really kind of like it because i'm starting to understand the information i had to kind of fix my position in the chair here um Today we're looking at theta waves. So theta being nice, theta is really in the zone. When you're really concentrating, like if you're playing video games, if you look at a lot of the stuff on YouTube, you'll see binaural beats. Many of them are trying to get you into this um, theta brainwave uh, zone so that you're really relaxed. When you're deep asleep, you tend to go into theta. Also, when you're really concentrating on something, deeper meditations, really getting into the zone. If you've ever driven home and you don't remember where you went, probably went into theta. Okay, so the theta waves are lower than the alpha waves. Remember we talked about alpha waves being like 7 to 13 or something like that? Well, there's always going to be a little leeway depending on which research study you've looked at. The theta waves tend to be between 4 and 7 hertz. Remember, hertz are cycles per second, so that's beats per second. So in one second, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, something like that. That's, that's the pulsing, right, of the electrical information going through your brain. And this picks it up. Okay, and then we can we can chart it here. And remember these things, charting of EEGs and stuff has been around since the 20s or something like that. But it was really, really poorly uh, um, understood, of course, because they were just studying, just starting to study this stuff and starting to figure out what the heck was going on. And two, the technology wasn't up to par. This is amazing. This is just a little a cell phone, um, you know, with the, with an app, which I'll put the the little logo up there so you can get it. Go on Reddit if you want to look up more about stuff about this. I've been trying to put some information on there on r slash flow time headband. And, um, you know, there's not much on online and we'd like to see more of that. But anyway, back to theta. How and why can we get theta waves to increase? Deeper meditation, deeper focus, mindfulness actually should do it. Okay. Now, this tool okay, or toy, whatever you want to call it. This tool here and others like it can help you to start to communicate with the body and know what it feels like when you're in that theta state. So some of us kind of just get there almost by surprise. Like, whoa, I felt really good just there. Now you don't have any other way, no, no technique or technology or practice to, to promote that. In meditation and mindfulness, and even like in the pragmatic Buddhist teachings, we want to see... Um, if we can promote those states of mind. Now, there's no certain thoughts that come up with theta. There's no certain things that usually happen with theta other than just feeling really relaxed. Maybe daydreaming, kind of fantasy kind of thing. Maybe you're just kind of like gelling out and thinking about, you know, what you want to do this weekend or sitting under a tree or something like that. Spiritual um, uh, inspiration comes from the theta, we think. Now, these are all things that when you really get into that zone, you become more clear. Now, this could be something also that's happening maybe with things like LSD and psilocybin. A lot of people are doing research on that with microdosing and things like that. But your brain can make all those chemicals and do even better at it without any other side effects. Now, the idea is to how do we promote this? Well, I think that these machines or these kind of, of tools are very useful in using that with uh, some biofeedback techniques. In biofeedback, we can use like different breathing techniques to slow down our minds, to slow down our physiology. Now, our physiology, which is basically kind of, you're thinking of like the electrical and chemical actions of most of the body along with the physical actions. So as we stop moving, that should reduce us down from gamma and beta into maybe alpha. Now, you can get into alpha from running or swimming or jogging or doing yoga or something like that, anything that you're really into. And then theta is really, really into it. 
These are things that we can start to train ourselves. If we can start to appreciate that they're actually there and actually possible, then we can actually um, get into them easier. We can start to anchor ourselves to those. So go ahead and please like the, the video if you like it so I can do more of these things if, if you like it. Um, you can uh, share if you want to, I guess, but uh, subscribe so that you can see the rest of them. I'm going through all the brain waves. Remember, there's only a few. So we go like a delta, theta, alpha, beta, gamma. There's only five that we're really going to talk about. Now, there's a couple other things that go on in there. There are variations. Like I said, this one's from theta, which is four hertz to seven hertz. And about seven and a half hertz, somewhere in there, is that Schumann's um, what's called Schumann's fundamental frequency, which is the frequency of the earth. When you're looking at binaural beats and things like that, they're trying to actually promote those. Now, do they really, because you're hearing it, you may cause a resonance. Now, remember if, if we have resonance in things and harmonic convergence, maybe that sound waves can affect our brain waves and vice versa. And maybe even like if we had, uh, like say a, a tens unit or a muscle stim, we could put on our body and get that same pulse. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Maybe it would help us to relax. So these are things that we are worth looking into and worth trying for yourself because there's no, you're not going to hurt yourself unless you turn it up too loud and hurt your ears. So don't do that. Or you're using it and you're really freaking out and you're trying to get sleep and you just don't sleep because you're listening to too much. Anyway, this is Dr. Sean. Don't forget to subscribe and um, watch the rest of the videos. And if you want to get one of these, let me know. I mean, let's go to you can find me on, you know, probably Facebook too, and you, but you can definitely find me on Reddit. Uh, I like putting on there because it's very focused and it's easier to kind of control those things. So anyway, hope you guys have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.